Good morning. Uh, we're going to talk today about the schools opening. And uh, this discussion uh, got really weird. It's similar to the masks. It's like people who support someone, they feel they're obligated to just support the idea of opening. And no matter what without even thinking about it, without, without even uh, putting themselves in, in the other people's uh, situation. And I don't have any kids, so this doesn't really affect me, but it concerns me. And I think we all should think about others people without thinking about the, the without the, the doesn't matter whether it affects you or not it should concern you no matter what because it affects other people so when I see people are dying from the virus that concerns me they are not related to me, but still concern me. When I see homeless people, it concerns me. When I see any problem in the world, it concerns me, even if it doesn't affect me. And if we all think that way, I think the world would be much better. But anyway, let's go back to, to this opening. From my experience, especially here in Duval County Public Schools, most schools are really having even hard time uh, managing uh, the regular days. I've, I've seen that. Sometimes even the dismissal, like when kids are going home, it, it, it just uh, a very weird thing, very disorganized. So I don't think the schools, the administrations, the the management can really manage the, this type of pandemic. And you're, you're putting the kids uh, lives at risk, their parents, grandparents, teachers. So everybody's involved with this organization, like this system is going to be at risk. And then the other thing too, most kids, when they go to school, they already hear what their parents say at home. So, so they're affected by that. So, I'm sure that the kids who hear their parents talking about they're refusing to wear masks, I'm sure those kids will not be wearing masks in school. And... And I don't think that the schools will be able to force that. We can't. There are going to be a lot of lawsuits. Because parents are going to step in and say, Oh, you made my kid wearing mask. And then they, they start. There's going to be a terrible process. And then 
the the uh, main thing if parents just send the kids to school is, is just daycare. I, I think those type of kids and parents are going to be hard to deal with. So this is really a bad decision. Because you can't manage what's going to happen on a daily basis with the kids, with the teachers, with the parents. So I believe that you already started last year. The online. Keep the online. And, and I believe the, the, the companies and any workplace should keep all the parents and anybody that can work from home to keep them working from home. Because most workplaces in Jacksonville, unless you work in in really large company, those cubicles and whatever is like almost the, the desks are on the top of each other. You don't even have like half a foot between this desk and that desk. So it, it just is very, even when it's uh, in a healthy time, people get sick and get allergies and get whatever. It's like there are a lot of health issues with the work environment in, 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 in general, in most companies and most workplaces because there is no air circulation, there is no fresh air, the, the, the offices are too small, so, so, so there are a lot of uh, issues with it, which it's okay on a, like regular times, but when we're talking about this time, if people can work from home, they should be working from home, and especially if they're parents, they have kids. And I think that that's going to be much better for both the kids and the parents, because then the ki- the parents will know how important it is to teach the kids and how hard it is. Because I think for the past 20 years or so, I think parents forgot that part and 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 it became very hard for schools and teachers to really teach because uh, the, the parents really think you shouldn't tell my kids this or you shouldn't tell them that and why you're making my kid do this and 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 it's really becoming uh, it's very scary for teachers when they're when they're trying to teach they feel they're very limited on on what they can say or or how they can teach So, keep online, keep the parents working from home, and and if the parents are poor, you need to keep offering the internet, free internet. You need to support those families. They were supposed, they were supposed to be supported to begin with. You shouldn't leave families living on five dollars an hour, right? Then, if you are concerned about the meals, okay, that's fine. I'm happy that you're concerned about the kids' meals. I am too. 
I'm concerned too. But what you can do, and instead of sending the kids back to school six, eight hours a day in a tiny classroom, with the way everything is disorganized, just deliver the meals with a school bus with the list of names of people who live in that area. Every block, every whatever, say, okay, if you live in that area, send something to all the parents who live in, in that area. So if you are like in the south side area, whatever, Say, okay, I'm going to go and deliver the meals on w whatever parking lot in there. I don't think Walmart parking lot is going to be mad if the, the school bus stopped there. The, the, don't stop in the middle of the road either. You can, you can really coordinate with businesses. In the area, with th th there are a lot of places that you can really do it. So just say, okay, we're going to that, or or if there is a park, there is whatever. There is always somewhere, or or by this at the school. Say, okay, this elementary school, we're gonna deliver. You come if you live in that area, we're gonna stop at this elementary school. And they can go there. Just in the parking lot, they wait in line, or maybe in the car or whatever, and confirm that the name is on the list and deliver the meal or the two meals or whatever. Like if, if the school, some schools give breakfast and lunch, some schools only lunch, whatever. Like in the morning, deliver that. And everybody would be happy. And I think the businesses need to also cooperate with that. By offering the work from home. And the parents are not going to be upset about it if they get the help. So we need to forget about the political thing and just think about the, 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 the society, the people, the lives, the health of everybody that's going to be in, in that circle. And I hope that we all would think about it with the mentality that it concerns me. And not just to uh, give just crazy opinions without really thinking about it. If you are in that situation. Because this is really a tough time. And I was hoping that this COVID would make people more like they feel about others more. But I was wrong. Because I thought, okay, this virus is going to effect directly or indirectly almost everybody so i was hoping that people would feel about each other feel what other people are going through but i was wrong but i hope people change again and become more like sensitive to what's going on with other people and have a good day Thank you.